So today I'm here to just see uh, an example of wasted resources. And we can see this is uh, one of the markets which was developed through either lack of public participation or lack of information. It was created for the benefit of the community. But today it has collapsed and it is a waste. So my challenge is, is it really wasted or is it that the people are not involved? Now when we see this kind of resources being wasted, how many years do we need to wait so that we can wake up and realize this responsibility is every Kenyan's responsibility to make sure that we don't continue wasting resources, yet we are a country that is supposed to be an example to other countries in Africa. This market, this market before it was built, there was a caption in the daily newspaper that 47 million will be used to build this market. And what we saw, in the first place, this market, there was no public participation because it lacked ownership. If you see a project is being vandalized, there is a problem because it is not owned by the community. Despite the community are yearning for a market, the entire London world, there is no market. And this one was built not in the right procedure. Oh, it was, we don't have facts about it, but what was, what can be referred to is the 47 million that the area MP attested to, that this market will consume 47 million, is what we can show as an evidence. But what happened here, this is an abuse of taxpayers' money, and we are really requesting the EACC to investigate this matter because uh, public projects are not be, uh, misused like this. Resources for seven million, what for seven million can do is a very big, big, big thing. But what we are seeing here, if you see the place, it was not handed over, it was not even completed, it was just left halfway. But it was not done by the county government, it was uh, money from the uh, Housing, I think something like that. housing. Those are the people who who funded this project under national mm. government. Maybe according to you, Ninani wa mearibu i market tangu i malizo. I nambona. It might be uh, uh, an employee to cover the funds misuse because if the market was built intentionally to help the community and the community have not used this market and now it is being vandalized. It might be the people who are building it, they saw that there is no value for money so the best thing they can do is to vandalize it and the place becomes empty. I hope that's the intention and the security person, personnel to secure this place so that investigation be done to know that who was the contractor of this market and how, man, how much was used to build this market. And why is it not in use while London are yearning for a marketplace? So that is what I can say. It is upon the security agencies to investigate this one. This is a, a, an abuse of public funds. And this can, thing can be done by EACC. They can do investigation, know who was the contractor, how much was used, why is it not in use, and why is it being vandalized? Yes.